Well, people, back again. Season number six is on its way. We are halfway towards ten, which is the amount of seasons we got done last time on a Grim's Bitter Glory on this channel. But today, we learn from yesterday's mistakes. We learn from the entirety of the last two seasons in the championship. And you know what we do? We go ahead and we challenge for promotion. As yes people, what is up? Welcome back to episode number one of season number six. We can count the seasons on two hands. It's an extraordinary margin that we're on right now, of course, of this Grimsby to Glory FIFA 23 save, which you'll only find on this MWS channel. As before, as always, we do get into this video. The usual stuff. If you're new around here and can't wait for this new season, smash a like and subscribe to the channel completely free, excuse me, did let out a little bit there, but of course, every subscription really helps the cause of growing this channel, and we're trying to get near 9,000 subscribers, if we could do that, absolutely fan dabby dozy. As you can see, in today's episode we have pre-season, a couple of decent teams in there, Torino, Stadio Rems, Genoa, no I don't, I don't know her, as we've got the um, team right there set up, you can see two injuries Ooh, not very nice injuries, and we are going to show you who we have first in this season. We have, um, of course, pre-season. We have, um, oh, Blackpool starting on the 1st of August this season. Blackpool away, newly promoted side. That's an interesting tie. Then Bristol City, Crewe, Huddersfield, Sunderland, Preston, Swansea, all before deadline day. And also, one thing I do want to do, because I know seasons are going on for like 10 episodes... I want to try and condense them, possibly longer videos, if you guys are a fan of that. That's my thinking, as you can see. Scouts right here, we have got three that are available. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the objectives and everything. Show you how much money we actually have, which is 16 million. That is a very good number. We've got 308,000 to spend on the weekly budget as well. Of course, we can alter them as the squad is under uh, currently... On 186,000, the Youth Academy just under four, which is brilliant stuff. There isn't many youth players in that, as we did promote some. I actually need to show you guys that. We did promote some youngsters. Of course, we've got some filtering the way into the first team. Everyone's back from loans. We got, um, where's his name, Palmer, and we got Knowles joining, as Knowles looks a very, very good one. They both do, as the objectives are simple. Well, not really simple. There's a lot of high and mediums. We've got youth development. Sign two players, uh, or... No, within two seasons, sign four players, play them in 20 games, okay, doable. Get five games without defeats and away matches by one player born in South America. It still wants us to go and find maybe that Brazilian wonder kid or something. I, I don't know, as then we've got domestic success, fight for promotion. I think that's reasonable. And reach the round of 16 in the FA Cup. Then uh, keep salary growth under 15%. That's going to be a struggle this year. As I was about to say before I got interrupted with the budgets and objectives. We've got scouts that aren't out. So we are going to be doing some compensation pain. And releasing Thomas Runahan and the first one who I didn't check the name of. There we go. They have disappeared. It's 15 million. I do want to spend this season. But when we've got Jacob Ryan... For 3.4. That is the one we're going to select. And he's the one we are going to send to South America. Argentina. Is one of the scouts already set up? Uh, okay, I didn't realise that. We'll just send him to England. Find someone, of course, in-house in the country he's from. As then the next one. We'll go for Elliot Phillips. He's got four star judgment. Another Englishman. And we'll send him to Portugal. As I've got ahead and scouted out. As also, I'm making the manager look a bit more rugged. Max Waddler... He's just not ready for the suit and tie. We're not Premier League level yet. We're not high division. But he's getting there. You can see he's a bit frustrated with um, the way things are going. Stubble's growing. Not shaving. Not sleeping. Sleeping, we're in the Prem as also. We've got Jasper Moon leaving. Uh, Louis Coyle leaves and Jaheim Headley was released. Uh, bits of business going down as Niall Ma transfer offer. Or a loan offer, in fact. He's still on the loan list, I'm guessing. 
We'll loan him out again. Two more. And some decent ones. First one's a transfer off for James Bree. 4.7 million to go to PSV Eindhoven. A good team, of course, as Goodwin Galatasaray. A loan to buy, I think, will suit him. Playing with, um, what's his name, Nathan Redmond. Oh, he's Besiktas, I think, actually. Never mind. James Bree, on the other hand. I'm going to check where PSV are. Because I don't know exactly, but last year's player of the season. They are in Europe, I'm pretty sure. Will depart the club. The Englishman moving close to home, kind of. Wakefield, Grimsby. It's about an hour and a half. Now moves overseas if that goes through. As I'm brushing over a couple of the loan deals, but this isn't the loan deal we really wanted. It's the transfer of James Bree. Five million pounds, which isn't bad for the player that we, of course, signed for nothing. It's going to be a big loss. A huge loss. As Niall Maher also gets his loan deal. As we go into pre-season with Josh Eccles covering that right wing back slot. Because of course he's played there before. Stadi Rims is a very good team. As what is the score going to be with these? It's a 2-1 defeat. Ben Wayne on the score sheet as Coffey and James got them the win. And I've gone ahead and changed the team up again before Girona. The first game right here. So what is the result going to be? I'm hoping we can beat the um, Spanish outfit. Can we? No, we get beat easily. Uh, Cookie getting our goal. Alexi Garcia, Linian, and Webster for them. So I've kind of been switching and swapping and brushed over the low knees that we're putting out at the moment. As his last game of preseason ends in a draw. Um, the thing I need to move on to, of course, is the elephant in the room. Transfers. As there's three players that are on my wish list this Christmas. And I want them before it. I want to get one in right now. And the one that stands out to probably you guys and definitely me. Bringing him from London. Flynn Downs. What a player he looks. He's been released by his boyhood club of West Ham United. But 76 rated. Championship experience. Getting this guy in. Could be a Rolls Royce of a midfielder through our doors. As simple as that. As I can offer him a three year contract. No release clause. The wage of Cosquioquieres is on 16 and a half. If I could meet with 15, I think that would be a kind of a spot on deal, you know. Plus a bit of a bonus alongside that of 85 million plus. We'll go for another bonus, shall we? Clean sheets. If he can get 20 clean sheets, he can have 700k because that would be a monumentous thing. As he doesn't agree on that, wants a higher signing on bonus. And a higher wage, which is still acceptable. Wanted him, got him, Flynn Downs. Yes, it's another free, but can you blame me? What a technical player he looks. As I'm um, sorry, Alex Moa, but it looks like your time may be a bit limited. He's not the quickest of players, but alongside Cook and Stone, that looks a solid middle of the park. More scout reports have gone out, and it's on to the first game of the season right now as a player walks through our doors. One in addition, Flynn Downs is. I should also mention as well, we're going to be buying a new scout. And we're going to go for a good one. Demyar Vastev looks okay, but I'm going to definitely go for Robin Hansen. He's got good judgment. As all have gone out to a bit more of an obscure range. Got Norway, England and Colombia. Trying to find the FM Colombian Wonder Kids. As I've got to get this team ready. For Blackpool. As you can see, the team I've selected is right here. This is the team that will start our push. It has to be our push this season, as Ryan Alsop is still the number one. With uh, Dylan Prichard, his first name is Dylan, trying to learn that off by heart. Starts the season ahead of Eccles with Godwin Malief Pollock. Lindsay is now our captain for good. At the left-hand side of defence with Glenn L. Far left. Flynn Downs immediately gets his start in this team. As uh, Reagan Cook, or Red... No, it's not Reagan, is it? I forgot it, but it's Cook in the midfield. Reggie Stone just in front. As in front of him is Victor Gioqueres and Ben Wayne still going. Bench is as strong as ever. It's in fact Coxie dropped out. I'm going to go with Cullen on that bench. Coxie and Shepard are the ones pushing for the first team. And of course Dominic Ball and McAtee. Look at his rating. Oh... I hate to see it. You really hate to see it, but it looks like he's just downgrading. As we need to upgrade with the results. As the Tangerine Army is in full flow here, you can see them parading in the streets. What will it be this season? Will they do well? Or will it be us who prevail? Certainly hope the luck comes our way as it's showing us the lineup. Daniel Grimshaw, Jack Moore, Douglas Tharm, Ollie Casey, 
Dominic Thompson, CJ Hamilton, Luke Miriette. So five in the midfield with Callum Wright, Cornejo and Keshi Anderson with Laverty up front. Or not Laverty, but Lavery. I always just slide the T in there. Why not? It's the same formation as, of course, last season. We're still going with those five back because all of us players suit this lineup as that was a horrific start from Godwin. The defence is... I wouldn't say an issue, we kept so many clean sheets, but that is kind of down to Allsop at some points. A really good shot stopper. We do need to think about who actually goes in as the central defenders, as that's a ball around the corner, and we might have an early goal! We do! Ben Wayne heads it down! Grimshaw couldn't keep it out! Six minutes on the seaside! And Ben Wayne gets us in front! What a start that is for the Mariners, it was Reggie Stone just peeling off the defence. And that ball across the net was just an easy one. Tapped in. Not a great save, but a finish. Really good work from us as now. Dylan Pritchard running forward. Could we even get another one? What a pass that is into Cookie on this side as he blasts it and just puts it over. What a positive start from the Mariners. We just keep going on this march as all. Oh, Blackpool was slipped through and Ryan Alsop judges that very well to come out and get it. Just a throw over the top. Liam Lindsay, the captain. Back into Flynn Downs. I'm hoping for a good debut. And I don't think he'll have a bad one. Do you? Has Gleno. Back into Ben Wayne. We've got Reggie in front of us. Reggie Stone. We cut away from. We go to try and finish it. It falls to Flynn Downs. Who puts it over the top. Into Pritchard. Hit his man. We'll still keep going with it however. As Pritchard. has got to try and take over. James Bree's corner. Uh, not corner, but crossing duties, as that's got to be a corner. And a run down the wing here from Keshi Anderson, as the ball in the middle. Allsop's pulled out two saves now, which I'm not a fan of, as that passes straight into Cook and Flynn Downs. He goes backwards, we'll try and calm this down a little bit, but they've had decent moves. Down, of course, getting the number eight, the Rolls-Royce midfielder number, even though that's Cookie as well. As number seven, as Pritchard with a little cut inside, he's getting down this wing very well. Of course, needs to replicate James Bree's crossing ability if he can. There's Ben Wayne coming out wide, the goal scorer. Into Reg. Now around the corner, Victor Gioqueres. Can he try and make an option in that middle? It's floated towards him. And a good block. And the man's actually injured himself doing so. Oh dear, but still we play on. Flynn Downs. Flynn Downs through the centre. Onto Reg. That's around the corner. We've got runners ahead of us. That's a brilliant ball to Victor Gioqueres. He's put it wide. As it looks like at half-time, the Seasiders will be trailing to us, as that's not a great ball into the box. Still, we receive it with Victor Gioqueres. Now out wide, cross that one in. Ben Wayne for another header, but that's the whistle. 1-0. Newly promoted, struggling. As there is zero changes to be made going into this second half, we're going with the same team. As we're going to try and put that over the top into Vic. But it was just nicked away from him in time. But that's straight into Reggie. A bit of a mistake. Gioqueres with a brilliant slipped ball through. He's not missing that one. Is this his season? I don't know. He's missed a chance already. But we can't put him down now. Both strikers on the score sheet. We're attacking halves head on as Reggie Stone. It was a good interception from a sloppy pass. And an excellent finish. Good work as now Vic. Back in the middle, Gioqueras with a spin out into Pritchard now. As Dylan Pritchard, he cuts back, tries to slot it through the middle. Here's Victor Gioqueras. Oh, and I was just about to pass it across. I think it's time for some changes now. As Dylan back out on this right-hand side and the ball slipped through to Cookie. It's the time for one more goal, even though it's almost changed time as Ben Wayne puts wide. Fortunate for him, he's still on the field. We've took the other one off. We've took Gioqueras off for Liam Cullen. To get a start, of course, he's a number 10. And Powell gets his debut here in camp for Reggie Stone. Changing the rest of the team up, but keeping the defence kind of the same. As Brim Powell's got a bit of pace about him. He was sprinted down there, as here he is. The number 36 with a dodgy first touch, as expected sometimes. The nerves of the youth players. Just hoping it actually doesn't lead to something here, as they've got to run down this side. And a chip through the middle and a dodgy touch. Ryan Alsop. Takes it with his feet, though. That is good work from him, as we need to pass that around. Oh, and Lindsay. That was a disgusting ball. As now they've got a chance again. Through the middle. Shot comes in. I'm wide. Lucky that they missed as Alex Mart through the middle. On to Liam Cullen now, and that's around to Pritchard. Pritchard, if he can dink that in the middle. Here he is! Oh, a big chance for Powell! He could have got a goal just before the end of the game, as Eccles is our fourth change here. 
As we've got to get a good in swinger. It's Alex Mort to take this one. I'm going to go there. Hopefully that's quite close to the keeper. And on someone's head. As that's a good header. And it's saved. A brilliant corner, by the way. Need more of them, please. I'm going to try it again. Why not? Bit more power on it. Bit more venom. As the defender's in the way. They've read that one. Header still across into Powell again. Over. Unfortunate as Cullen. He's going to run with this ball here. Into Bryn Powell, who turns. Looks for an option, Cullen almost shredding his man to pieces, but just unfortunate. We do pick up on the ball again, however, and that's a good touch, and that's a chip over the top for Powell. Here he is. Can Powell just slot that across the box? He tries to, but a corner ball will take. Can we make this a solid 3-0 win? We're going to go edge of the box. Bryn Powell's taking this. Can he get an assist? Look towards uh, Godwin, but it didn't land for him. As Alex Moore, wide, almost snapped the post behind the net. But it doesn't matter. Three points. Comes back to Cleethorpes. Brilliant result. But we move straight on. Bristol City, I think we will simulate, in fact. Do we even make any changes after that last game? It's a bit of a tired squad, but not too tired. Transfers all just dim down a little bit, I think. With the game after this one being a cup game, that's when we can slot as transfers through as Bristol City. We're going to simulate, of course. How is this going to go, the Robins? It's going to be a 2-1 defeat. Ooh, okay, we go off the back of a brilliant win. All the way down. It's Benarus with a brace. Pritchard in the middle. Makes for a unsettling result. Got to bounce back. I'm disappointed with that one, as I think Crew will be another one. But I think we definitely need signings through the door, don't you? As I do think centre of defence is somewhere to improve upon. And there's this guy still in League 2. Andrea Papetti, 25-year-old, 73 rated. The only thing is we've got to pay that release clause of 5.8. I think I might look elsewhere, but if not, I think it's worth a try. As I've looked at a few and they don't look too good, so I think I'm going to go for Papetti. However, however... Look at this. Cesar Aspilicueta is a free agent. And he's still playing at 37 year old. I just bit the inside of my cheek. Ow. But it'd be really good if we could sign him. Maybe for a bit of experience. You can see the sprint speed. He's won. Won is his sprint speed. He is the slowest player in the game. But an experienced head who we could never play, but put in the lineup. But then again, that's a waste of a wage, isn't it? Papetta isn't. Pay this release clause. Almost six million we're gambling on this guy. I think he is a Hartlepool player IRL, as this ups our centre-backs to about 10 million at the moment, which I'm hoping isn't a bad thing. This guy's going to go straight into that lineup, of course, as the wage is going to want a bit of a high one, I'm pretty sure. I'll offer... I'll offer that. 11 plus a signing on bonus of 80k. Reasonable. A bit too much. Needs to wash his hair. There we go. Papetti's in. Maybe a bit pricey. I agree on that. But I don't care. I just want a good defender. What foot is he? He's right footed with two stars. So that's Godwin, who is the lowest rated in the lineup as it is anyway. Ooh, he might not be happy with that, but... I'm happy with Papetti. There's a change around for the reserve team, so we'll start in the reserve team, but... Still a first, uh, a couple of first teamers. Scales is at left wing back. That's what we probably need next. A backup left wing back. Dominic Ball, Moa, Powell, Saidi, Cox. Godwin still plays in this one. Eccles is right wing back instead of Pritchard, who is the first team at the moment. He scored in the last game, of course, we can't forget. Home against Crew in the Carabao Cup. Can we try and progress past round one? We do not. Tabiner and Baker Richardson with Saidi scoring. We're out of the competition. Because I think that's where we'll end today. I don't want it going any further. I don't want it going any further. I thought it would be a good start. I thought it would be a good start to the season. Obviously not. Two defeats, one win in the played game. Is it going to be played games good? Simulated bad? We've got to see next episode. And I think we've got to sign a couple more. Because we've spent six million. And he couldn't even beat Crew. He could not even get us a clean sheet against Crew. I mean, it's not just on him. It's on everyone. But there's three games up, three games in pre-season. And of course, if you've got some suggestions for players, get them down there. As thank you guys very much for watching this one. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn that notification bell all the way on. As I will see you in the next one tomorrow for some more 
career mode content. Take care in a bit and peace.